Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you today. I hope you've all been doing well. So I have three decks of cards for you guys to choose from today. We are going to be asking, have they moved on or are they still thinking of you? So this is obviously going to be geared towards separation, no contact situations, that kind of thing. Um, group number one is the Night Sun Tarot and I have some rose quartz with that. Deck number two is the Everyday Witch Tarot with clear quartz. And deck number three is the Golden Tarot with some amethyst. So I will give you guys a few moments to make your choices. As usual, the timestamps will be in the comment section below. If you already know which one you want to pick, you can head down there and skip ahead. If not, go ahead, pause the video, um, take your time, meditate on your person that you're thinking of, and um, choose whichever deck, whichever crystal seems to be calling you most. So we're going to get right into it. All right, so deck number one, those of you who chose the Rose Quartz with the Night Sun Tarot, let's find out if the person you are thinking of has moved on, or are they still thinking of you? So let me pull some cards and then we will get right into it. We have the Queen of Pentacles, first of all. We have the Ten of Swords, hmm. Queen of Swords, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Four of Cups, they all came out together. And let me just grab a couple more here. The star, and that is too many. The three of wands, okay. And I'm going to grab maybe one or two oracle cards and see if there's anything that they want to add before we get into this. Okay. Interesting. So, group number one, has your person moved on or are they still thinking of you? So, the first card that I want to talk about here is this Ten of Swords. Um, the Ten of Swords, this is typically indicative of a painful, difficult ending. This relates to defeat, grief, um, betrayal, emotional turmoil. This is... This is a really rough, really heavy energy. Um, immediately, I, I, I'm seeing pretty clearly that for most of you who chose this option, you and your person have had a difficult go of things. It seems like there has been a lot of pain, a lot of heartache in this connection, but I feel like for the most part, you guys maybe haven't really... It seems like you haven't actually had the chance to like talk about it with each other. Um, it kind of feels as though this is or was a connection that it, it seems like it just kind of like fizzled out almost. Like, I get the impression that for most of you, there wasn't really a big conflict. There wasn't really a big falling out here. It was like just a gradual, um, moving away from one another, 
or maybe, you know, this person just kind of ghosted you, just kind of disappeared. But I don't feel that it was necessarily surprising. I feel for the majority of you who chose this, there was kind of a, a lack of communication or lack of real meaningful communication between you and this person. It's like you had a lot of deep feelings for one another, but you never really talked about them. You never really expressed them. Um, and so this Ten of Swords is, it's, it's really interesting to me because it feels like there's been a lot of grief and a lot of heartache in this connection as a result of it, but a lot of it seems to be just internal. Like it's just been kept inside. Does that make sense? The Queen of Swords is giving me a similar kind of vibe because this card, um, it really, it, it talks about intellect, logic, reason. The Queen of Swords is kind of a cold, icy kind of figure. Um, she does not really express her emotions. She is just, you know, she's very logical and rational, and she doesn't allow her emotions to get the best of her. She's not very expressive in that regard. So I feel, I feel like this is probably applicable to both you and the person you're thinking of. But like, this is... <sighs> It's like neither of you ever really expressed or conveyed to the other person how you felt about one another truly. Um, and it's like even now, the feelings involved in this relationship are, are still kind of being suppressed. Maybe not so much by you, the viewer, anymore, but I feel like the person you're thinking of is definitely still suppressing those emotions. Um, on the surface, I feel that this person is... This person may appear to have moved on, okay? Because we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is prosperity, abundance. Nine of Pentacles, quite similar. Both of these cards give me an energy of, you know, independence, self-sufficiency, uh, somebody just kind of doing their own thing. The Nine of Pentacles in particular a lot of times represents someone who is single, someone who's enjoying their time on their own. Um, so on the surface, they may appear to be, you know, just living their life, doing their thing, having a good time. Um, the Six of Wands, kind of similar. This is victory, success, recognition. This is a very action-oriented card. It talks to me about forward movement. So again, you know, it, it may appear that this person has moved forward in their life. Um, the Star, Hope, Optimism, um, Healing as well. And the Three of Wands, this is Potential, Opportunity. Um, this relates to, like, broadening one's horizons. And these two cards are saying to me that your person, whoever it is you're, that you're thinking about, I feel they have made efforts to, like I said, move forward with their lives. Um, I feel that they have made efforts to broaden their horizons, see what else is out there, see who else, what else is, is available to them. Um, however, I kind of get the impression that in reality, they are not feeling as optimistic as they let on, that they are not as excited about, you know, pursuing other opportunities in, in their life, because the Four of Cups, this is a very apathetic kind of energy. This is boredom. This is like uncertainty. It can represent indecision or procrastination. A lot of times I just see this card as someone just, someone kind of stagnating, someone who's having trouble moving forward, moving on from a situation. Um, and it's like, it's really like a self-imposed kind of entrapment because the Four of Cups to me is typically like 
somebody unable to let go of something or somebody unable to make a decision about something, but it's like they're also not really trying that much either. Like they're not really trying very hard to move forward. They're not really trying very hard to make a decision, to come to a decision about something. D do you know what I'm saying, guys? So it's like, on the surface, as I said, it seems to me like they, it, it, it would appear that they've moved on. It would appear that they're happy, that they're just, you know, doing their thing. But I think in reality, they are really hiding a lot of their true feelings, a lot of their true thoughts, emotions. Um, the Oracle cards that came out for you guys, this one says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. And this one is sacred union. It says, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. So <sighs> these two cards are pretty clearly saying to me that the person you're thinking of still feels your connection quite strongly. They still feel your connection quite strongly. Um, and, and they may even be feeling like, they, they might even be feeling like there's more to this than meets the eye. There's more to this that, that they maybe realized initially. Um, I feel like they have tried to move on. Like they've tried to let this connection go, but it's like it, 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 it just keeps sucking them back in. Like they just can't seem to truly get you off of their mind for any significant amount of time. Um, I'm going to pull a couple more cards here and see if there's anything else that wants to come out. We have the Five of Pentacles, the World, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so if you're watching this video, obviously, you're wondering if this person has moved on. Um, I feel like this person is wondering the same thing about you, or they may be feeling that you have moved on from them. Because the Five of Pentacles, this is loss, grief, grief um, abandonment, feeling, you know, left out in the cold. So I get the impression with this card that they may be thinking, they may be feeling like you've moved on from them. I feel with the Ace of Wands being here that to some extent, at least, they kind of would like to reignite this connection, like they would like to reconnect with you and have some sort of new beginning. Because with the world card being here, it's like they've 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 come to some conclusions or they are in the process of coming to some conclusions about this situation. Um, there is more to this than meets the eye, they feel. Since the two of you have been apart it's like there's been some kind of emptiness there's there's been a hole in their life and this is interesting because like i mentioned at the start i feel many of you many of you it seems like didn't really have a, a real significant relationship with this person like i feel for a lot of you this never really got the opportunity to get up off the ground so it's a little weird that they would feel this way, right? Um, kind of suggests to me that this was maybe something that was kind of intimidating to them. And maybe that was why they never really expressed their feelings towards you adequately, like completely. But it's like, since they met you and you went your separate ways, it's like they've, they've become aware of some emptiness in their life. Like when they met you, they became aware of it. They, they didn't realize that it, it was there before. And then since the two of you have been apart, that space, it's like it's just been magnified for them. It's like they can't stop focusing on that empty space. Does that make sense? We have the Six of Pentacles. This person thinks about reaching out to you. 
they think about reaching out to you, but they haven't. They haven't done it yet because I think they're still... This person, I think, is still very much in their ego. That's something that still very much controls them, their decisions. Um, they want to give the illusion that they are doing just fine, that nothing is really bothering them, that they are, you know, balanced, that they're happy, that they're, you know, just doing their thing. So they're kind of afraid that reaching out to you would... I think they're afraid that, that reaching out to you would make them look stupid. They're afraid of looking weak. They're afraid of, like, judgment. Because I feel for many of you, they were the one, ultimately, to create this separation. Like, I feel like, for the most part, they were the one who disappeared. They were the one who stopped making the effort. They were the one who allowed this to die out. And so coming back towards you, it would, it would, for them, it would kind of hurt their pride. And that's, you know, that's a them problem, definitely. Um, but yeah, they, they do think about reconnecting with you. And I think part of the reason why they allowed this to die out in the first place was because you understood them more than anyone else, I think, that they had ever really met or encountered or had a connection to. And I think that was a little bit intimidating because it made them feel vulnerable. And for some of you, um, they may have even felt like you were kind of judgmental of them or or they were fearful that you would be judgmental of them. Um, so they, they kind of distanced themselves in order to protect themselves. Do you know what I'm saying? It was like, you just got them. You could see right through them. And they didn't care for that. They did not care for that at all. But, um, yeah, the short answer to this, I would say, is yes. Um, this person definitely is still thinking about you. They have not moved on from this connection. It is still on their mind. It is still in their heart. Um... I, I want to find out if potentially they will reach out to you eventually, because like I said, I feel that they want to. I feel that they want to. We have the Two of Swords, the Devil, the Ten of Wands. So, okay. As of right now, I don't see that happening, unfortunately, or maybe not unfortunately, depending on your perspective about the situation. But the Two of Swords, this is like stagnation. This is like being locked in a stalemate, unable to make a choice about something, or perhaps unwilling to make a choice about something. The Devil card, this is feeling trapped, confined, restricted, um, particularly by... Like, like a lot of times the Devil represents like um, some sort of codependency or... But, uh, prejudice or, you know, things along those lines. And so this is really talking to me about them being held back by basically their pride, their ego, um, their vices. And the Ten of Wands, this is something that's weighing on them. Like the, the way that they went about things with this connection, the choices that they made in regards to your relationship, um, it weighs on them. It does weigh on them. They can't seem to let that go. But unfortunately, right now, I don't see that, that they have any intentions of actually coming towards you and trying to lighten that burden for themselves and, and you know, trying to make things right. So the way things stand currently, it doesn't look like they're going to be contacting you in the near in the, in the foreseeable future. Um, that could always change, you know, later down the road, but... The way things stand right now, I see them just kind of continuing to keep to themselves, continuing to wallow in their regret, and um, that's definitely their problem. Okay, so like, 
if if for any reason you feel guilty or bad about any of this, I don't think you have any, I, I don't really think you have reason to, okay? Um, this person made their choices. You know, they made this bed. They have to lie in it. Um, they have... <laughs> They have the choice of, of getting up and fixing things and they're just they're not they're not making that choice so um group one i think i'm gonna leave it there that's what i'm getting for you guys your person has not moved on your person is still thinking of you but if 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 you're like looking them up or anything or getting information about them from other people um it may appear as I said already, that that they have moved on, but deep down, really, they truly have not. So, you know, don't take everything at face value. Um, don't trust everything that you hear. So, um, yeah, group one, that's what I have for you guys today. I hope that this was interesting. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Um, if you're interested, you can check out my links in the description box. I do offer personal readings. Um, you can order through my Etsy store or my website. The links will be below. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Serpentine Daughter, just like it's spelled here. And um, yeah, I think that's going to do it for today. So thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. And I hope that I see you next time, guys. Bye. Hi, group two. If you chose the Everyday Tarot with the clear quartz, Let's find out if your person of interest has moved on or are they still thinking of you? So, whoa, okay, let me get a few cards out here. We have strength coming out right away. We have the Queen of Cups. We've got... That's a few, that's a few too many cards. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay, we have the Ten of Wands, the King of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Page of Pentacles, and let's get a couple more. Four of Swords, Knight of Cups. Let me grab a couple of Oracle cards and then we will talk about this. Okay, we have Healing, and let me get one more. Okay, we have the trust card. So, <clears throat> let's get into this. Group number two, your, has your person moved on or are they still thinking of you? So, um, the first card that we have here is strength. Strength talks about self-discipline, self-reliance. Um, a lot of times it represents, you know, overcoming obstacles, overcoming setbacks. It's inner growth, inner strength. Um, we also have the Queen of Cups here. This card relates to, like, unconditional love. I get a very loving, gentle, compassionate kind of energy from this card. Um, the Queen of Cups is a very empathetic figure, um, but she also sometimes represents to me, like, new beginnings in the sense that like like some sort of offer is being made or something is being expressed that maybe has not been expressed before or has not been brought out into into the light before um if you look at the image on this card she's got this um like i guess it's a shell it's full of water and she's kind of extending it outward um as though she's making some type of offering I wish my camera would focus. There we go. And she's also pregnant, which, you know, obviously this can represent um, an actual pregnancy or children. <clears throat> but in general, um, 
it, it gives us an energy of like something new, something fresh, a new beginning, a new idea, you know, something along those lines. Um, we also have the Ace of Cups. Aces also relate to new beginnings. The Ace of Cups in particular tends to represent new beginnings in the realm of love and relationships, um, new feelings beginning to blossom, uh, a, a new relationship starting out. The Page of Pentacles, somewhat similar. Um, pages are the first of the court cards, the court cards being pages, knights, queens, and kings. Um, so pages are somewhat similar to aces in the sense that they also tend to, um, or they can represent things that are new, that are just starting out. Um, they have sort of an, an, uh, an energy of like youthfulness, inexperience. You know, they, they represent to me things that are in the early stages that maybe haven't had much opportunity to develop a whole lot, but we just have a lot, a lot, a lot of, of, of uh, new energy here in this spread, just overall. Um, so that immediately kind of gives me the impression that whoever you're thinking about has perhaps begun to take steps forward in their life, okay? Um, the Ten of Wands is here as well. This card is, a lot of times, you know, it, it represents some kind of burden, something that weighs, weighs you down, um, you know, with tens having that association with, like, completion and endings, sometimes this card can represent letting go of a burden or letting go of something that's weighing on you. Um, the Four of Swords, this card is about rest healing. Um, it's a very solitary, introspective kind of energy. The Knight of Cups typically represents offers or expressions of love being made. And um, the King of Pentacles, this is stability, security, uh, maturity, and responsibility. The King of Pentacles is just a very solid, grounded figure. And I just, I get the impression that whoever it is you're thinking of, they have really been um, I feel making the effort to be better, okay? Um, I mean, the King of Pentacles and the Strength card, I feel, I feel that perhaps in the past this person was kind of stuck on this connection with you. Um, however, I feel like in the recent past, perhaps within the last few months or even weeks for some of you, this person has made a lot of forward progress. Um, the healing card, it says, imagine yourself being surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. And trust, transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Healing and trust. Healing and transformation. Acceptance. <clears throat> I feel that for most of you who chose this group, um, your connection to whoever it is you're thinking about, it, it seems like it was somewhat tumultuous in the past. Um, I do get the sense that there has perhaps been a lot of hurt, hurtful things said, hurtful um, actions um, that, that have just occurred between the two of you. and. I feel, hmm, hang on, let me, let me grab a couple more cards here. Three of Cups, Five of Wands, yeah, Five of Pentacles, okay. So the Five of Wands, this is um, chaos, conflict, very hectic uh, kind of energy, it can represent fighting, disagreements, competitions. Five of Pentacles is loss, loneliness, abandonment, grief. And the Three of Cups is about unity and harmony and togetherness, and it can represent celebrations and spending good times with friends and just, you know, having fun, having having a good time. It can represent, like, you know, parties and, and just, um... <clears throat> It's just a very like light-hearted kind of kind of feeling that 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 the three of cups has in general. So 
with all of this said, like I was just mentioning, I feel that things between you and this person perhaps have been difficult in the past. There has, there's been conflict, there have been problems, there have been, you know, hurtful, hurtful things that have happened, um, difficult things that have happened. And I do feel that this person was thinking of you for quite some time after this separation began. Um, I, I kind of get the sense that for most of you, not all, but most of you who chose this group, uh, you've probably been out of touch with this person for, for some time, a few months at least. And in that time that you have been, you know, in separation from each other, <clears throat> I feel like your person has struggled to move forward, but they have been consistently making efforts to do so. It's been difficult. They've had a hard time. It's been, it's been tough, you know, trying to let go of their, I want to say, I want to say that this person maybe was somewhat fixated on this connection in some way. Like, they just couldn't stop thinking about you. They couldn't stop thinking about what happened. They couldn't stop thinking about the choices that they had made, you know, things that they regret, regretted about your relationship, things that they regretted saying or doing. Um, they were quite hung up on this for some time. But I feel that they continuously made, you know, efforts to move forward anyway. Because from their point of view, it seems like, you know, to them, moving on was the best thing. Like, they they felt as though, and I think still feel as though, they need to just move forward with their lives. I get the impression that for most of you, your person does not expect um, a reconciliation. It seems like your person <clears throat> does not really even expect for you to be receptive to them, like coming back towards coming back towards you. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so it has been it's been tough for them because they've been struggling a lot with um, you know their their regrets and the accepting the choices that they made. Um, and that's where this trust card is coming in. It's also where the healing card and the Four of Swords are coming in. They've spent a lot of time reflecting on what happened between the two of you, um, just thinking it over, replaying it in their minds, wishing they had done some things differently, said different things. Um, <clears throat> however, I really feel that now they've they've kind of come out on the other side or they're in the process of you know getting ready to come out on the other side of this it seems like they're in a much better place than they were it seems like they're not so fixated on this connection anymore they're not so fixated on their mistakes um <clears throat> they've overcome that stuff they've overcome the guilt and the regret for the most part and now they're feeling much more grounded much more stable and it seems to me like they are trying to let this go. It's like they're trying to let this go. And welcome, you know, new, new energy into their lives. For some of you, this person could be dealing with, you know, someone else, someone new to them. Um, or they may be thinking about getting involved with someone new. And uh, I, I realize that for some of you, this may not be the type of message that you were hoping to hear. But this is, you know, this is the message that I'm getting. Obviously, if, if, if anything doesn't resonate with you or if it doesn't feel right to you, then, you know, don't, don't, um, don't feel like you have to accept it as the facts because this is just general um but based on what i'm seeing here what i'm feeling i feel as though group two for the most part your person is moving on um 
they do still think of you from time to time, but their belief right now is that they need to move forward, that they need to let this connection go. And that doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, you will never reconnect with them. It doesn't necessarily mean that this is 100% over forever. Um, because, you know, my belief is that nothing is truly forever. Um, but they're trying to move forward. They're, they're trying to open themselves up to accepting love into their lives. I feel that for a lot of you, that may have been the issue when you were together or when you were, you know, talking, whatever, like they couldn't open themselves up. They couldn't accept the love that you were trying to give them. They couldn't, it's like they just couldn't embrace your connection and just allow themselves to enjoy it and to just live in it. Does that make sense? And I think for a lot of you, your person just feels like there's like so much time has gone by. Some of you, I feel like you've all, you've, you've moved on too. Some of you, not all, but some, I, I feel like you've moved on too. And if that's the case, I feel like this person is aware of that. Like they've seen it online or something, or they've heard, heard that you, you're seeing someone else or involved with someone else or whatever. Um, <clears throat> Maybe in, you know, maybe that's the case and, and you're just curious about whether or not this person is still thinking of you. Um, they, they are, but not nearly as much as they used to. Yeah, for, um, For most of you, this this person is still actively like in that process of letting this go and moving forward and, you know, welcoming new things into their life. And it seems like that's something that they really needed to learn how to do. And that may have been like a lesson that your connection was meant to, to help them learn. I think to a small extent, this person may be hoping to eventually reconnect with you maybe someday, but they're not like trying to hang their hat on that hope. They're not clinging, they're, they're trying not to cling to that hope. Um, because from their point of view, it just seems unlikely. It seems improbable. After what they did, they feel like, they feel like you probably will not really want to see them again or talk to them again. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, for, for some of you, you've moved on or they think that you've moved on, you know. Um, so, group number two, that is what I'm getting for you guys. Um, I'm sorry, again, if this was not what you were hoping to hear, but, um, it, it seems like this person is, it seems like this person is growing a lot and they, that they have grown a lot. They are in the process of becoming a better version of themselves. Okay. And like I said, it doesn't necessarily mean that you will never, ever, ever reconnect if that's something that you want. Um, it just means that for now, for the foreseeable future, it's not really likely, okay? So, um, group two, that is all I have for you today. I hope that this was interesting. I hope that it resonated with you. Uh, you know, this is just general, so take what applies to you. Leave the rest behind. If something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Um, and if nothing resonated, if if you hated it, then it's whatever. Just move on. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And I hope I see you next time. Bye. Okay. Group number three, those of you who chose the golden tarot with the amethyst, let's find out if your person of interest is still thinking of you or have they moved on from your connection? So let me pull some cards here. We have the ace of wands right off the bat. 
we have the Queen of Coins. We have the Four of Cups. Whoa. Five of Cups, the Star, the Seven of Cups, and let me get a couple more here. Two of Wands. And the Nine of Cups. And let me grab a couple Oracle cards, and then we'll get into this. Okay. <clears throat> So, group number three, is your person still thinking of you or have they moved on? Group three, I, I do feel that your person is still thinking of you. Um, the Four of Cups, this is a very passive kind of energy. Um, a lot of times this represents apathy. It can represent boredom, uh, un indecision, uncertainty. A lot of times I see this as just someone who's really dug their heels in and is, is refusing to move forward. They're refusing to move in any particular direction. Um, it's just someone who's stuck, but it's like they are causing themselves to be stuck. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, they have the power to unstick themselves, but they're just not doing it. We also have the Five of Cups here, which is associated with grief, sadness, loss. It can represent a pessimistic attitude, being very fixated on the negatives in a situation. So this is kind of emphasizing that Four of Cups energy. It seems to me like this person is... The word that comes to mind is dwelling. It feels like this person is really dwelling on you and your connection and things that maybe occurred between the two of you when you were in contact with each other or together or whatever. Um, okay. I feel like you're... Okay. I, I feel like this person is torn between wanting to move forward and not wanting to move forward. And I guess that's where that Four of Cups, you know, just, I'm, I'm just going to stay right here where I am sort of vibe is coming from. Um, because on the one hand, I feel like they, they, they want to open themselves up to other possibilities, opportunities. You know, the Two of Wands is about broadening one's horizons, right? Um, so on the one hand, they they want to do that and also one of these oracle cards this says the past is now behind you release it and embrace new possibilities a new path is now available to you follow it with faith so this person seems to be very torn um on the one hand they are really dwelling on your connection they're really stuck in place but on the other hand there's this other part of them that 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 wants to move forward and the seven of cups is talking to me about that as well this is about options having a lot of options available to you choice um opportunity as well this is you know this this card represents possibilities so it's like there's this part of them that wants to move forward you know explore new possibilities in, in terms of relationships and all of that, but then there's this other part of them that just can't seem to let your connection go. The Ace of Wands implies to me that they, to some extent, they would like to have a new beginning with you. And the star tells me that part of them is hopeful, maybe cautiously, cautiously optimistic, about your connection, like maybe this relationship could be healed someday. The Queen of Coins, this is stability, security. This is a very loving kind of energy to me as well. Um, Queen of Coins, very stable, very grounded and solid. Um, this person feels a strong connection to you. This person feels a strong connection to you and they they seem to be feeling like like there's a reason for it but they haven't figured out yet what that reason is if that makes sense 
This other oracle card says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. I think this card came out for group one as well. I don't remember for sure, but I think this card came out for group one or it was a very similar message. Um, so, okay, hang on. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> I was saying that it seems like they're torn, that they... Part of them, part of them is very fixated on your connection, very stuck on it, and another part of them wants to just let it go and move forward. I actually feel, okay, I actually feel like for a lot of you, this person, it, it's not that they want to move forward from you. It's not that they want to move on from your connection exactly. It's like they want to move on from the past. They want to let go of the past. They want they want the issues, the conflicts, etc. to be resolved. Okay. Okay. That makes sense to me. Um, I feel like from their point of view, you, your relationship was like it's like it was perfect. Like, they viewed it as being ideal. And yet, something happened. You know, if you're in separation, obviously, something occurred that was an issue. Um, and it's like, now they are... Now, now that you're apart, they're really seeing that. They're really seeing that they had what they really wanted all along but now they've lost it okay this person is feeling like hoping you know there's like like there's there's potential for this connection still there's potential for you guys to reconcile there's potential for you guys to work things out but they're not quite sure how to go about making that happen Okay, so your person definitely has not moved on. They are still thinking of you. They are still uh, really dwelling on this connection and on things that happened between the two of you. Four of Wands, yeah, they want to reunite with you, I feel, um, because they have, it's like they have come to the conclusion that you, you really are important to them. And it's like they didn't realize how special this connection was. Um, how meaningful it was until until it was gone, until they had let it go, um, or until they did something that caused you to let uh, them go. Do you know what I'm saying? It was like they had they had their wish. They had they had everything they wanted. They just didn't know it. They didn't realize it. So now. They are, <sighs> I kind of feel like you're going to hear from this person mm, relatively soon with this Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands being here as well, because like both of these cards talk to me about, you know, communication and offer being made. Um, both of these angels here are kind of, they're kind of like making an offer, particularly with this Ace of Cups. It's like they, they want to reconnect and they want to offer you, it's like they want to offer you their feelings. They want to express how they, how they feel to you and, and what they want. And I think what they want is this Four of Wands kind of energy. This is unity and togetherness. This card can represent marriage. Um, in general, this is just saying to me, though, you know, they they just want they just want to be unified. And I feel that since you have been apart, they've kind of struggled a lot with accepting it. Accepting their mistakes, accepting the role that they played, you know, not to say that, I, I mean, I feel for some of you, you know, there were mistakes made on both parts, both of your parts, and you, you know that. 
but um, they wish they're wishing that they had done things differently. And I, I kind of feel that they have been to some extent really grieving the loss of this relationship. And I actually feel for most of you, it seems like you, it's, it feels like you haven't really been apart for all that long. Maybe a few months, a few weeks. It just, everything here just feels quite fresh to me. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, we have the Six of Swords. This is this is reconciliation. This is conflict resolution. This is people coming together and working through problems and moving forward into calmer waters. That's really what this person wants. And I like I said I feel like you're probably going to hear from them relatively soon, like within the next few weeks, maybe month or so. They, they, they seem to be very hopeful with the star card here. However, I'm not, sh I'm not sure that they, Let's see, how do I want to put this? It's, I think I mentioned this already, but it's kind of a cautious optimism. It's like, Ideally, they want to reconnect and they want to reconcile with you, but they're not totally sure um, if that's truly going to work out. You know what I'm saying? Um, they want to believe that it will. And I do feel that, you know, I, I don't really see anything here to suggest that they're going to just continue to, you know, wallow in their sadness and self-pity and, and all of that. I, I feel like more than likely, they are going to take action towards you because we have a lot of really action-oriented cards here. Um, they they seem to be pretty pretty cautiously optimistic, but I'm not sure that for some of you, I'm not sure that they have any good reason to be optimistic. Does that make sense? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this this isn't applicable for all of you who chose this group, but for some of you, I feel like. I feel like you may not be all that interested in having them come back around. Hmm. And and maybe you're just curious to know like I mean are they still are they still thinking about you? Maybe you're looking for a heads up if if they are thinking about coming back towards you. You know, I don't I don't know your reason for watching this video. Um I just wanted to mention that because it seemed relevant for some of you, okay? Um <clears throat> But yeah, that's that's pretty much all that I'm getting for you guys group 3. So, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't want to just keep like repeating myself. Um this person seems to just have a pretty one-track mind about what they want to do. Like, they've already decided they want to come back towards you. They're just sort of... They're, they're just kind of trying to build themselves up to doing it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah. So, group number three. That is what I have for you guys. I hope that this was interesting. I hope maybe it resonated with you. And... Um, you know, this is just general, so take what applies to you, leave the rest behind. If something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. I do offer personal readings. If you are interested, you can check out the links in the description below. And um, yeah, thank you for joining me. I hope I see you next time, guys. Bye!